Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Dominic. I'm the host of the Android Factory. In today's episode, we're going to round out this series here by solving a bug that we found in the last episode. And aside from that, we're just going to kind of peruse through the app here, see what we've actually built here, um, you know, as we are kind of closing out this series. It feels like a pretty good place to kind of let things go here. So, you know, on this page here, we are uh, paginating some endpoints here from the Rick and Morty API. So we can kind of just get that infinite scroll here. Uh, you know, there we go. That scrolled a little bit better there where it wasn't getting too choppy. Go ahead and click on some characters here, take a look at their details, and then any of the episodes that this character actually, uh, you know, was a part of and stuff like that. We have a little bottom navigation here with our episodes information being displayed here. Again, searching all the data. We have some sticky headers up top here. And then in the last episode or the last few episodes, we've really been rounding out this search functionality here. Um, you know, so we can go ahead and kind of search for a particular character, see all of the uh, different elements that come back here. We applied some filters as well. And this brings us to our, uh, you know, weird Jetpack Compose, uh, you know, bug or error or, or something along those lines that, we, that we're running into here um, when it comes to this filtering. So as we're animating items away from this list here, this character here is halfway off the screen. We go ahead and kind of remove that element from the screen here by filtering them out. We see that, you know, element kind of jumping and bleeding past uh, the actual bounds of our lazy column here. Uh, the simple answer here, you know, it is kind of a little duct tapey answer, but it does work. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, inside of our search composable here, we have our search screen content. We have our filtered items here that are being displayed inside of a lazy column. And the issue that we see here is we have this modifier for animate item placed on the individual items that we see inside of here. So the solution that I found here uh, is actually something to do with our lazy column. We can, oh, sorry, we already have a constructor here. We can just uh, add in a modifier to the parent here, the, the lazy column. And we can just go ahead and add in our clip to bounds. And, you know, as you would imagine, that does just kind of clip the children from the lazy columns bounds. Not entirely sure why this isn't kind of already working, but we'll see here this same uh, cell here is now halfway off again. And as we go ahead and filter them out, we no longer get that weird jumping that we see here. So uh, weirdly enough, it's a very simple solution, but it, um, you know, I don't know, it's not necessarily the greatest in my opinion. I think this should just work out of the box, but hey, you know, let's take it up with the <laughs> devs over there at Google and whatnot. Uh, one of the last elements here, we can actually tidy up this, uh, you know, application and get this screen functioning. We do have a to-do for our on-click here. Um, you know, we're going to kind of just add that in, and then we're just going to call this series mostly done. You know, if you made it this far, if you've been watching all the episodes and whatnot, I do appreciate the support. Uh, I really do. I know I kind of been sporadic in the last few episodes and whatnot, but, um, you know, it's, it's just been quite busy on my side here. So we're going to just create a uh, on character clicked function that gets invoked in our on click, passing back our character ID so that we can navigate to a particular screen. This function here does not, or the composable here does not have this. So we're just going to add it in like this. And then we will have our on character clicked. And then this is going to call that same thing again here on character clicked. And oh, sorry, this is just going to be a lambda. Excuse me one second. We're going to have on character clicked with it here. We'll put it on one line because I think it looks better that way when it can all fit. Obviously, now we need to bubble this up even further. So we're going to go all the way to the top of our composable here. This composable is housed inside of our uh, main activity that we can see here. So now we have access to our um, nav graph and, and the ability to um, you know, actually navigate around. On character clicked here is going to be a lambda. We'll have our character ID passed in here. We do this somewhere else uh, already to navigate forward, but we're just going to copy and paste that right here. We will take this, paste it in, and we invoke our nav controller, navigate to this particular route, passing in our character ID. Go ahead and rerun things here, but in case you missed it, this is the uh, you know Jetpack Compose navigation here. So we do have the nav host uh, controller being you know observed and remembered inside of 
the uh, activity here and this is how all the navigation ends up working so if we go over to our search screen here we go ahead and have uh, morty again we can click on alien morty and now we actually navigate forward this page was already built out so when you go ahead and click this uh you know further button to navigate forward and see this uh you know episode view and whatnot now this application kind of seems to come back together here and and we kind of you know completed all the functionality and whatnot here so um this is a little bit of a shorter one you know kind of plugging away at this little error down here um as far as our clip to bounds bug that we discovered. Again, I'd appreciate all feedback here. Tell me what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy. Tell me what you want to see next as well, because uh, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about a few different ideas here, and I'm interested to hear if anyone's looking for some particular content and whatnot. I'm very happy to make it. I'll push this code up after the video goes out. Everything is available on GitHub, uh, so feel free to take a look at it if you're interested in it. And uh, with that, thank you so much. Catch you guys in the next one.